Okay, we're back. And I'm now level 40, and I've got much, much nicer gear, as you can tell. So, I'm like 10 levels away from 50, and then apparently I can get, like, champion levels after that. But I haven't looked any of that shit up, so I don't really know what that entails, but... I'll probably start a new character after I reach 50 with this one. I haven't really decided yet. But anyway, moving on. Okay, once again, I have no idea what the fuck I was doing here. Obviously, I was about to do a quest. Oh, okay. Alid Ruins. That makes sense. If you'll sort all this dung talk out, you don't even have to do the escort. I'll just do it myself. I'll still give you half the coin, of course. Anything to avoid dealing with this myself. Yeah, you better give me half the coin. Alright. Let's do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you hear me stop <laughs> talking, which, you, you know, maybe you don't like it if I talk, but if you hear me stop talking, it's because I'm drinking coffee, and coffee's important, so. So deal with it. Well, it does make sense that dude's fear is running like a bat out of hell away from me. <sighs> yep, I have to catch it. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of funny. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna check this waterfall real quick. No, no, nothing. I got this treasure map. It's probably still in my inventory. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's totally the wrong waterfall. Never mind. Oh, you, you beat! I wonder if I wait long enough if he'll just appear in the same location and run back or something. Hmm. And then I went back to actually having Twitch record the stream, even though when I do my own recordings, the the video quality is way better, but it's like the features when you do it when uh, Twitch records it are, are actually just really nice and convenient. So, I don't know, I'll give it a try again, but if the video quality on this one is really shitty, then I'll just have to suck it up and record my own and upload my own video. Oh, hello, player. Just gonna go do something else. It's apparently waiting for fear to materialize is gonna be kind of painful. Wow, there's anger. What are you looking at? Did I say you could look at me? I don't think so. I don't even want you sharing my air. You're a festering boil on the lip of reality. I don't like boils or things that fester. Move on. Or do you have a problem with that? Dude, calm the fuck down. Oh, tell me you didn't say that. Tell me <laughs> I didn't hear that right. 
how would you like a staff blast to your stupid ugly face? Let's find out. Well, let's do this. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I guess I won. I like it when the stations you run into in the world actually work, because I've, I've run into other stations or, or the objects in dungeons, and you couldn't use them, which is kind of annoying. Okay, well, in my streams I don't read the books, but I'm very, very tempted to read the books. Oh, I did finish the Mage Guild um, main quest, and it gives you the nifty feature. Of eidetic memory, so now every single book everywhere that I've ever picked up I can go read so for me this is like the best feature ever <laughs> so now my life's goal after getting this character to whatever high levels I can get it to is just going to be collecting all the books so I can go into the game and read because <laughs> that's how I roll really exciting like that alright where am I going the sky shard over there. Well, wait a minute. Oh, there's a the sky shard. So that's a wisp mother over there, and I don't, all I know is that in the um, in Skyrim, um, those things used to kick my ass. Like I, <laughs> I used to run into the wisp mother and be like, "Oh shit!" Oh. Buttons. Oh. Buttons. <laughs> no. But obviously, I don't give a shit about wisps. Just wisp mothers. Oh no! No, no! Why would you kill Buttons? He just wanted to be your friend. <laughs> it was necessary, bro. No more quibble cakes. Bah! Without Buttons, what's the point anyhow? I might as well just go back to the old grump. By the way, you are not invited to the friendship circle anymore because there isn't one. I'm going back to Anatoly. Wow, that's dude's happiness? <laughs> okay. That reminds me, I need to get back to town soon, because I have to sell and probably upgrade my horse and all that shit. Hey! Did you see how gray it is here? Everything is gray, just like my life. One long chain of miserable, lonely days. Each one worse than the day before it. 
Do you know why it is that I even bother to get out of bed? I don't know. I was hoping you knew, but now I'm disappointed again. I always tell people how bad things are, and then they get worse, and so the next time I see them, I have to tell them all over again. Do you want to know what else is sad? You know, I really don't, but I'm going to use Persuade anyway to get on with it. You're farming. You expect me to believe that you really want to listen <laughs> to all my complaining? You must think I'm a fool. No one wants to hear all this. It's boring. I don't even want to hear it myself. <laughs> now that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. You think if I stop talking about it, it'll just go away? Like that's some secret trick to dealing with sadness. That's just hysterical. You're funny. You should be a minstrel. Nope. Avoiding the wisp mother because I'm scared. I can probably take her if I wasn't streaming, but I still have that little bit of Oh, there's fear. Shit, he just disappeared again. God damn it. Oh, there he is. Come here. Oh, that's bull! <laughs> it's, it's like hitting Iki like a crazy person. And that's the problem with input lag, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Don't! Please! You're going to eviscerate me, I just know it! I don't yeah, want to be I am. It sounds awful! From having to run around trying to catch your dumbass. Because I had a nightmare. And someone told me they were going to eviscerate me. They described it in great detail how they were going to cut me open and let all my internal organs spill out. My liver, my stomach, it was terrible. Then it wasn't a very funny joke. My father was eviscerated as a matter of fact. I'll put up with a lot, but jokes about evisceration are where I draw the line. Oh, now you're making jokes about my mother. Now you've done it. Now you've made me mad! I'm going back to Anatoly! Bye. For some reason, looking at you makes me want to vomit. My emotions just feel like they're going to burst out and run away again. Overall, though, I am feeling a little lighter on my feet. I think so. I won't know for sure until I get home to my wife. Come to think of it, she's very similar to this alien relic. She's old and strange and brings out all of my emotions. <laughs> Regardless, what? though, I'm ready to go whenever your friend is. Wow. Okay. Bye. Enjoy your shitty marriage. So when I saw you go down for a nap, I decided this partnership was over. I certainly didn't think you were doing your part. Then the mage suddenly stands up and says he's ready to go, and that I have you to thank for it. Is that true? All right, all right, I don't need to hear any more. I'm not going to pretend I understand any of this, and I don't really want to. Here's your half of the payment. I'll make sure the mage gets safely to his destination. Okay, peace out. Even though that's a nice sword, it's like I, I'm focusing on dual wielding on this character. Dual wielding and bow. I have to get over there.
but I think I'm gonna head back to town first. I thought there was another way shrine over here somewhere, but I think I imagined it. I think I want there to be a way shrine here, and there isn't. to you. Go fence some stuff. Now that Rivenspire is safe, High King Emric finally decided to crown a ruler for Shornhelm. It's about time, I say. Out woodwork requires a know that. And currently I'm only focusing on on enchanting and uh, blacksmithing for now until I reach 50 and then I'll reevaluate my life choices but worth stealing. Nope. Ooh. Oh, she detected me. Sometimes you can find... No, it's not gonna let me do it. Sometimes you can find like a little corner. 
where they're blind. Unfortunately. She's monitoring her shop pretty well. For one, I'm very no, glad. Actually, wrong guy. Have you come looking for it? Yay! Woohoo! Whopping 15%. Watch me go, Vroom. And once again, I've like lowered the volume on my mic so it doesn't sound like I'm yelling, but even though I probably still sound like I'm yelling. Because my mic's really sensitive and it was, it was picking up like my keyboard presses and everything, which is meh. Oh well. I grow weary of me. Alright, I'm gonna sell that because I have a ton of it. Good to see you. No, that's not one. Once you ask us to store. Okay, now off to the blacksmith. Whee! <laughs> and I do notice that people are just like, fuck it, with mounts. Like, they don't even bother. <laughs> They're just like, I'm just gonna make my character run really fucking fast.
ultimate powered. So I upgraded, so now I can research two things at the same time. So when I go... Hmm, I'm not sure if I want to do that yet, though. I'm holding on to that weapon in case I get... another piece of this set and I want to swap it out. So I'll do this instead. So, yeah, I since the last time I played, I, I did everything in the Alakir Desert, so I went and got the rest of the Sky Shards, and did a few public dungeons, and so the only thing left is is um, is this group dungeon, but obviously I'm only going to do that when I'm grouped. Oops, hit the wrong button. Okay, first, let's see if you have anything to rob. Oop. Nothing. Nothing to rob. I am disappointed. No, oh, hold on there. Don't die yet. I gotta rob you first. Hang on, don't die. Just hold up. Well, I'm gonna take your drink. Ah, now we can talk. Whoa, I don't know why I'm doing squat thrusts. <laughs> Weird. You're no Reachman. Stindar's finally seen it fit to grant me a little mercy. He did? Not Isabeth? I'd hoped she'd gotten the others to the camp by now. She rescued a Weirus, and a villager named Laetil. The Weirus said they're holding an area beneath the alien ruins. 
Isa said she'd go and see about an alliance. I told them to leave me here. I'd only slow them down with these wounds. Yes, one of the women of the woods. I was taught never to trust them, but Isa thought they could help us retake Northglen and keep the Reachmen out of Evermore. She might still be with them on the shore. There's an entry to the ruins there. Thank you. I hope to see you back at the camp. Mm -hmm. El Jenny's outdone herself. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my character is now in this complete lean. Charge! Hopefully being in that battle fixed that little graphic glitch. Hmm, there's a lot of players here. I wonder if they're going over to kill that thing. Yay. Take all that. Nope, I still have that weird graphic glitch. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing it on your end, but it's now I'm just constantly, like, kneeling. What the hell? This is so strange. Alright, what happens if I reload UI? I think this is the first time I've seen it like glitch out like that ever. Nope, it's still doing it. <laughs> Bizarre. Oh, maybe mounting and dismounting fixed it. We can only hope. Oh, before I talk to you, Let's see if you have anything to steal. Nope. Nope. Well, I only steal shit over a certain price point because I'm 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 picky. Another one. Curious. What do you want? She was here. She returned our sister to us, so we are in her debt. The other has a sickness within her, of an unknown kind. We will keep the sick girl away from the land, lest she spread an incurable disease through our woods. If you're curious, speak to Weiris Delphique. She's within the ruins. I want a nifty, like, wolf pet like that. It's kind of funny, because you talk to these wearers, you know, people- Oh, there I go. I'm <laughs> doing squats again. What the hell? Anyway, you talk to, like, these wearers, uh, chicks, and they're always talking about, you know, keeping the land wild or what- <laughs> This is the funniest glitch ever. Alright, it's gotta be some kind of weirdo mount glitch. We don't mind me. Just glitching out.
Weirus Asteria let you in? I trust she had good reason. What drove you to seek me in this house of stone? Ah, you seek this child. She goes nowhere. She's infected and I must determine what it is she carries inside her. It's a seed for certain, though what the Dark Witnesses have cultivated in the fields of North Glen is a mystery. I've one last attempt at a cure. You're just in time to witness the results. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, this is gonna go well. I can sense it. Watch and remember what you are about to see. First, I'll expose the corruption. Look, you can see it play. Now to see if I can purge it. Thou be gone. Well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> no shit. It's like, okay, honey, if I'm really sick, like, don't try to cure me. Alright, just leave me be. Disturbing, to say the least. So the Dark Witnesses would turn us all into their puppets to reinforce their army and take Evermore. We can't allow that to happen. I tried to draw out the evil, but my spell agitated it. Transformed her into one of those abominations roaming North Glen. Small wonder we've seen no prisoners. They've turned them. And as their army grows, so does the threat on the Viridian Woods. The Evermore soldiers? And why should we trust them? If we left the Viridian Woods, they'd cut down our trees in days, and mine the land with no regard for the life harbored there. Oh boy. Take this rune to wither the Reachman's markers in the fields. Then cut off Dureg's head. Prove yourself on our side as well. And I'll meet the Captain Isabeth spoke of. She left. Said she had to search the farmhouses. Are you stalling or do you truly believe we can trust the soldiers of Evermore? Isabeth spoke of an alliance too before she left. Well, you can finish her work. Will you take Dureg's head or not? Sure, no problem. Luck be with you. We'll journey to the Evermore camp if you complete the job. We're closely tied to the land, so we'll know when you've been successful. It's empowered with weird magic. When it comes into contact with the marker, the magic will course through it, withering it to the point where nothing is left but dust. The magic will penetrate deep enough to reach the seeds it produces. Reachman effigies that Dureg conjured out of the earth. Perhaps remnants of power they left behind. They're the source of the seeds they cultivate in the fields. Destroy the markers and you destroy the seeds. This land used to be theirs, and not so long ago. They're here to reclaim it. It's why Evermore is such a prize to them. Perhaps we'd let them remain if they didn't pose such a threat. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna log out and log back in. To get rid of the weird graphic glitch I'm experiencing. Because that's just gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> Watching my character, you know, do squats throughout the entire playthrough is just gonna make me nuts. So hopefully turning it off and back on again will fix it. Alright, let's do this without the squats this time, game. Yay, looks like it's all fixed. Eh, it's not worth robbing.
That's neat. that I wanted. That's okay. You were there first. Knock knock. Ooh. Book reading time. Nope. Oh. See if there's anything worth taking. Ooh, I'll take that. You can stop me. Oh great. I need to kill this dude. Follow you after I'm done looting. Love of Mara. I didn't think I'd see the end of this day. Did Captain Garecroft, my father, send you? Yep. I know Durake's plan. 
He has stores of seeds he plans on using to turn the innocent into pawns for his army. You must destroy the stores. With Dureg out of the way and his weapon destroyed, it will leave this army without a leader and a plan. I'm badly injured. Whatever Dureg was doing to me, probably trying to implant one of those seeds like the others, has left me too weak. You need to go. Finish the mission without me. Besides, if he was successful, I may compromise everything. <laughs> I have a lot of poultices. Perfect. One of El Jenny's, I bet. This will do nicely. No. I only found one survivor. And the Glenmora Weird wouldn't let her go. I found Ulmad and Vindeus dead. But Hotmi, did you find her too? I never should have left her alone. My father, that is, Captain Geyercroft, will be disappointed. You don't know him. He only acknowledges me when I'm doing something wrong. He calls me Isabeth the Impatient. <laughs> Isabeth the Ignorant. Okay, okay. It's so like, there's no happy families in RPGs. Like, <laughs> there's no, like, everybody gets along and, and they love each other. They're, they're all either, like, broken homes, bad marriages, like, shitty husband or shitty wife or both, you know, <laughs> unhappy children. And so, like, if I run into a family that's actually content, I'll be, you know, amazed. And they'll probably all get killed. I recognize it. And it's one of Elgeny's best. The poultice does more than heal. It grants invisibility. But mm. if you engage any of the Reachmen after you use it, the spell will break. Got it. Trying to implant me like the rest. He said he was adding me to his ranks. That I'd be the perfect weapon. And he'd watch as I attacked my own father and my father would have to kill me. Yeah, that makes... That makes sense. Well, I was trying not to aggro the whole group, but...
Ferguson. Scout Isabeth, you put this company at risk by disobeying orders. Thanks to our new ally here, the Weird agreed to help us drive out the Reachmen. I hope you... Weir is Delphique, what is the meaning of this? What? I thought as much. Captain Gearcroft, your scout is infected. Kill her if you wish to maintain this alliance. I won't kill her based on your word. Then trust your new ally's word. I'll make my own judgment. I don't take orders from you. Father, stop! So it's true. I'm infected. Okay. Well, you're okay. Your dad is a dick, but doesn't that mean I'm gonna kill you. That Jenny's poultice didn't fully heal me. I wasn't conscious for a while after they captured me. He had time to, to. Is what Weirus Delphique says true? Yep. Everything I've been through, for this, and my own father won't even acknowledge me as his daughter. But it's worth it, right? My life for an alliance that will save Evermore. I'll let Delphique know I'm ready. I'm sure she won't hesitate, and my father won't stop her. Evermore has always taken priority for him. Evermore and duty. Maybe I follow in his footsteps after all. <laughs> so much RPG angst. I've made my decision, father. Elizabeth, don't be foolish. You can't think straight. No, father. I've never been so clear. We're a Stelfik? Do it. Now, before I change my mind. Wow. Isabel! I mean, damn. Did you have to make it hurt? <laughs> Couldn't you have given her, like, a, a poison that puts her to sleep and then kills her or something? But nah. Just shoot fire at the bitch and just die horribly. Peace out. <laughs> the weird expect an alliance now after they murder my daughter in cold blood? They're lucky I don't have them all killed here and now. After what the Weird did to my daughter, the Weirdess killed her without hesitation. I can't have that unpredictability among my soldiers. Isabeth was a foolish girl. I should have disciplined her better. Made her stronger. I think you Never disciplined her a little too I fucking this much. Way of life would get her killed. How can I possibly consent to this alliance with her blood on their hands? Yes. Evermore needs this alliance. But I need... Isabeth's sacrifice will be remembered. You've proven yourself as a great ally to Evermore. I'll agree to this alliance. Together, we'll drive out the Reachmen. Damn right we will. Alright, now give my gear. Yuella the Hagraven is the true evil here. Okay, let's, let's see. Hmm. Gotta go get my stuff dyed. Interesting. Yeah, this is part of the game that I still haven't really figured out. Like, you get drops. I'm I'm close to 50, but I'm not there yet. But then you get drops that are way above, obviously, your level. And it's like, why? It's not like the game doesn't know what my level is. But anyway, moving on. Even together, my sisters and these soldiers can only prevent these Reachmen from advancing further south. Defeating the Dark Witnesses for good will require that someone goes deeper into their territory to kill the Hagraven, Yuella. With the Crows as her spies, Yuella is everywhere. But the Hagraven's physical form is assuredly deep in Reachmen-held territory. My sisters have been searching for her, but it will take time. The foul creature has wards that block weird magic. 
You would venture up to Jackdaw Cove? Yuella's influence has corrupted everything there. It's wretched, but if you are willing, I will not try to dissuade you. Search for my sisters near Jackdaw Cove. Perhaps with your help, Yuella can be destroyed. But before I do that... I'm gonna go dye my armor. Because I want to kill things, but I want to be fashionable about it. Troops are climbing the shrouded pass. I guess it's the only way to reach the doom crag. I wouldn't want to be up there. Too much to do in too little time. See, my favorite colors are, are actually red and black with, like, hints of silver, but unfortunately, I don't like... I like it when it's this shiny red and not this matte... Oh, sorry, shiny blue um, instead of this matte blue. And same thing with red. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. I'm in a mystic shop, but there's no bookshelves. Disappoint. Ah, Nabinico is glad to finally see someone with Jai in their purse.
Hmm. I don't think that took. Quite busy, can't you see? All right, I need to go. Where the hell am I going? Hmm. All the way up there. So, might as well go and try to get this book on the way. That's what I get to totally not paying attention. I was just like, cha la 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 la. <laughs> oh my fucking horse. Okay, let's try this again. And this time, I'm not gonna like zone out <laughs> while traveling. Get the book. Oh. All right. I know there's a quest, but damn it, I want the book first. There it is. So I'm going to go over here and pick up this quest, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to stay focused and go and 
try to find and kill this hag first. These lands hold more mysteries than you can possibly imagine. Mm-hmm. You heard the call, didn't you? No. You have been chosen to help stop the blasphemy in the ruins below. To stop the laws of nature from being broken. I too was carried here on the tides of fate for this reason. We must work together. Yes, I serve Hermaeus Mora, the Lord of Fate and Knowledge. These ruins were once a shrine to my lord, a storehouse of secrets forbidden to mortals. The shrine is but a memory now, but an entity invades the ruins seeking to steal the secrets. So Hermaeus Mora has like this, his area of oblivion is basically this huge fucking library. So <laughs> I've got no problems with this Daedric Lord. I mean, he's evil and everything, but you know, he's got a really nice library. A spirit? A Daedra? This is part of what must be exposed. Whatever it is, it has enslaved local villagers, calling them Rain Disciples. It taps their minds for its power. To what end, I do not know. But I believe you can unmask its intentions. Wisps serve the entity below, drawing the essences of the enslaved rain disciples and depositing these essences in troughs. Slay one of the wisps and take the essence it carries to the troughs. I believe this will expose the entity's intentions. You're bold to ask. As you observed, I am a Dramora, but the Lord of Knowledge freed me. Hermaeus Mora taught me the secret of how to sever my ties to Oblivion and bind myself to the Mundus instead. I have served him ever since. Of course, we are known as primeval seekers. We rarely gather, but our Lord has summoned us here to secure the ruins. I'll warn you now. Some sections of the ruins below are restricted, Primeval Seekers will attack if you attempt to trespass. Yes, even in the ancient days, some alien recognized the power of Hermaeus Mora. Within this shrine, they stored forbidden knowledge of the natural order, which could allow one to manipulate the very fabric of reality on this plane. We came here to do just that, but we soon discovered others were living in the ruins, these Rain Disciples. We have secured portions of the ruins, but the entity who commands the Rain Disciples set them to block other areas. We must stop this mysterious entity from stealing our Lord's forbidden knowledge. The entity's wisps <laughs> absorb mind essence. Can you from be the rain a disciples. little less obscure? Kill a wisp and take its essence to the troughs. I hope this will expose the entity's intentions. So like, come on, bitch, out with it. I serve Hermaeus Mora. Dealing with illusions and Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not ex gonna expect a uh, Jamora to tell me the whole truth. Ooh, b box. And it's simple. need that magicka recovery kind of really bad Anyway, going back to my original reason to be out here.
Oh, there's the book right next to a wisp mother. That's great. Yeah, bitch. I hated you in the single player games, too. <laughs> you did them so much. Ah, finally, a way shrine. Can I go hit that? Hey, what's up? Keep your distance, outsider. The last thing we need is some rock-brained city dweller bumbling around. <laughs> oh, well, fuck you, too. <laughs> dominates this part of the forest. Yuella the Hagraven and her Reachmen are encamped here. For now, at least. She did? I find that hard to believe. Delphique knows how I feel about outsiders. Regardless, whatever your reasons for coming, they'll have to wait. Right now, we are in no position to offer anyone aid, and certainly not a city dweller. Yuella the Hagraven and her Reachmen have taken over this part of the forest, and everything here, including the Weiruses, are weaker as a result. Where they travel, the forest slowly withers and dies. We will drive Yuella and her dark witnesses from here, or we will die. Unfortunately, the old hag is no stranger to weird magic. She has constructed foul totems that suppress our power. You expect me to trust one such as you? Hm. Perhaps, if one of my sisters keeps an eye on you. Weiris Rashan is young, but she will do. Rashan returns shortly from scouting. If you really wish to help us, she can join you to destroy the totems. Now I've helped these, these chicks in like other areas, in other quests, and... They're all usually not this suspicious. I mean, they all have, like, something, you know, poles stuck up their asses, but they're usually not this bad. This group is kind of annoying. Here she comes now. Rashawn, we have a volunteer to destroy Yuella's totems. We aren't in the habit of trusting outsiders, but the suffering of the forest seems to have softened my sister's heart. If you really wish to help us... I suppose that's an offer we can't refuse. Yeah, of course it you can. It won't be easy. First, you will need to destroy Yuella's totems. They keep us from drawing on the power of nature for our magicka. The Reachmen guard them closely, but I'll fight at your side. No spells, but I've got sharp claws and a mean bite. No spells? Ugh. I do what I do for the forest, not for you. There are three totems, just a bunch of strung-together sticks for you, but they're like poison to me. 
I can't get too close, so it's all on you to destroy them. All right? Are you ready? Yeah, whatever. Hey, a book. <clears throat> Kinda surprised there's no other players over here. I dare another one of them to come closer. Of all the travesties against nature, this is the most foul. This is the last one, the last Spriggan. There used to be hundreds in Jackdaw Cove, frolicking about in the grass and the water. They were beautiful. Worse, they poisoned them, corrupted them, turned them into monstrosities. Those lurchers! This is the only Spriggan left, and the Reachman's poison already courses. My sisters would not want me to trust an outsider, but they are not here, and I cannot leave her side. Frankly, I am surprised you share my concerns. You are sure you wish to help me? Yeah, I wouldn't be asking if I wasn't sure. I need hardwood from inside the lurchers. It's the only thing that will help the little Spriggan at this point. I hesitate to ask more of an outsider. Yeah, yeah, you hate outsiders. There is a chance we can save her life. It will require more work, though. The heartwood degrades quickly in the lurchers, but sometimes remains pure. If you take the extra time to find the pure heartwood, it could save the Spriggan. <sighs> well, do I care enough or not? Sure, why not? I'll save its life. It's a dead player. But you're gonna have to wait, dead player.
Now this person probably died. Nah. Because they've gone AFK. And they're probably still AFK or they'd be asking me for a res or something. I can actually feel the forest again. This is good. The natural order is re-emerging already. It's still very weak, though. It has to be nurtured back to health. She has to die. Until Yuel is gone, the corruption remains. Her blood is the nurture the forest needs. Whoa. My magicka is returning, and it's making me lightheaded. Meet me over at the old tower. I need to get my bearings. Vandal! Destroying my art! You will regret! Oh, whatever. Sure, I'll talk to you, but I have a funny feeling I'm gonna have to kill you anyway. Yeah, yeah. Where I am is a secret only a crow can know. And the crows call for your death, not mine. Come after me and the last sight you will see will be a black beak pecking out your eyeballs. <laughs> so you just came, came down in a crow form to just taunt me. Alright, fine.
gotta be kidding. Fine. I didn't mean to aggro all the things, but I aggroed all the things. Whatever. Moving on. We shouldn't get our hopes up too much, but with the pure heartwood, there is at least a chance our little friend can be healed. Have yeah, yeah, I found some. Quickly then. Let me mix it into a poultice. I am grateful that you were able to find the pure heartwood. I hope so. Here, take the poultice and apply it to the poor thing. I must be prepared to do whatever is necessary. It worked! The little buggers are already thriving again. The power of nature is truly miraculous. Thank you! Now, with nature's blessing, our little friend will survive the Reachman invasion. But as for her sisters, the only thing left is to avenge them. The abominations are created just across the water. A Witchman has built a transformation altar there to perform his foul work. I am not equipped for this task. Will you go destroy the altar and kill the Witchman for me? For the Spriggans who died? Sure, why not? I don't care, one of that iron ore. Your medals with my magic.
Yay, evil is vanquished. Let's see. Here's a book. Over there. Did you destroy the altar and kill that bastard witchman? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I intend to take oh. great care oh, of this. Oh, that for just medium armor. Blah. With her scene's blessing, I hope she might be the seed to spawn many more. Yeah, 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 whatever. Literally a tree hugger. I thought I had a... Vampire Lord, part of the Vampire Lord set, but I guess I don't. Oh, this does, like, actually a little less damage. Ah, at the Vampire Lord's ring. If I get more of this, like, Sprig and Thorn set, then I'll probably, like, swap it back out again, but... Till then... Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks cool. Listen, I, I was wrong to be so hard on you before. You've certainly proven now that you deserve my trust. I appreciate your help more than I can express, especially if you'll see this thing through. Ow, oh, an apology. Thank you. You did? <laughs> well, I guess we got the old hag's attention. Maybe we put the foul thing on the defensive. Of course... She probably has layers upon layers of protection. I don't even know how to find her. I don't suppose you have any inkling? The poor crows. She's taken complete control of them. Their spirits are helpless. They can only watch what happens to their physical forms from the nature realm. 
She does have them coming and going, though, so they would know where to find her. As a matter of fact, now that I can draw on the power of nature again, there is. I can take you into the nature realm. Not in that form, of course, but it would allow us to talk to the crow's true spirits. Do you trust me? <laughs> no, not really, but let's do this anyway. Yay, I'm a... I'm a wolf. Eee. Must be nice to be able to travel between this realm and the physical realm. I'm stuck here. Yes, I'm stuck here. If she were here, I'd peck her eyes out. No, she's not in the nature realm. But of course, you can't reach her in the physical realm. Maybe one of the other crows knows more. Uh, you're a big help. A wolf tried to eat me once, you know. Just because we're in the nature realm, you think we can be friends now? Maybe. Did that hagrave entrap your spirit here as well? Oh? If you can access the physical realm, you might have a chance. The door to Yuela's lair is in this realm, you see. But you have to break the wards in the physical realm. There's more to it, though. You should ask one of the other crows. Alright, this sounds complicated. Rawr. We can dispense with the small talk. I know why you're here. Even in the nature realm, news travels fast among crows. Getting to Yuella is impossible, though. Even if you break her wards, entering her domain will corrupt your soul. Well, why didn't you just say so? That would work. There is something different about you, isn't there? Yuella's lair is in the island tower. Break the wards in the physical realm, but enter the door from here. Don't tell her I told you, though. I'm guessing that once I finish the main quest, um, <laughs> I'll get my soul back. Or not. You know, seem to be doing okay without it. Uh, it seems like having a soul is like a liability. Alright, wait, wait. This looks like the place. I guess you're the one who's going in. Yeah, I guess so. Doing all the work here. here. I was just starting to feel like you're one of the pack, and now we have to part ways. Obviously, I'll have to be the one to break the wards on the door. It doesn't seem fair. You get to go in and chew the old hag's face off. I don't think so. Her lair's actually in the physical realm, so you'll assume your physical form. Probably not so much chewing, I suppose. That's good, though. You'll need your hands. After the crone's dead, you'll have to get her nasty little heart. When I said her blood was the nurture that the forest needs, I meant that, literally. She's the source of the corruption here, so we need her heart to perform the ritual to cleanse the forest. So, are you ready to go get it? As ready as I'll ever be. There. Back in the physical realm. Time to do this. All right, the door should be open this now. Like Go place. get me that heart. The heart is going in. Oh, 
Time to die now. Well, that was quick. You killed her. You freed us. <laughs> and other players helping other players is what makes this game pretty cool too. Where's this crow? I guess he's outside. No more restraint! Bodies and minds together again! The crows of Jackdaw Cove are in your debt! Yes, free and feasted. The Hag Raven was all skin and bones, but what's there is sweet to eat. So thank you for saving us, and thank you for supper! You're welcome. The Reachmen must have sensed Yuella's death. They started to panic and fight amongst themselves. Made them easy pickings for me and my sisters. Now, the heart. You do have it, I hope. You see all the giant vines choking the life out of everything here. The ritual will purge the area of their evil presence. It's necessary for the land to heal. Why are you stalling, though? You've grown attached to those vines? Actually, hold on to it. I have an idea. Weiris Freida will howl, but I think you've earned the honor. Let us begin the ritual, and once we've penetrated the earth, you can throw the heart into the circle to complete the spell. All right, sisters. Let us begin the ritual. Boom. Who would have guessed it would be an outsider who would show up and kill Yuella? I doubt this means we'll start inviting families from Evermore out to visit, but maybe, just maybe we can be a little more friendly. Yeah, I hope so, for real, because you guys are a bunch of bitches. And so they come out here to help, and it's like nothing but suspicion, and like, you know, basically insulting me from like, day one. So seriously, get more with honey, okay? I, for one, am as grateful to you as the Fortunately, flowers are to the sun. Eh. You brought life back to these lands when it was nearly choked out. Though we may never officially call an outsider a friend, I think we can at least consider you an ally. It's like, and then again, ending with a backhanded compliment. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Well, I expect you won't be returning anytime soon to enjoy my sister's hospitality. And I can guarantee we won't run into each other on some city street. So I guess this is goodbye then. Of course. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. I didn't think about it before, but I suppose this means the Reachmen are no longer a threat to Evermore either. All right. Well, if you ever come back to this neck of the woods, we'll kill you. <laughs> I'm only joking. We're as humor again. Go on now. 
May her scene bless your hunt wherever it may lead you. Yeah, peace out. Since I'm here, might as well get that sky shard. Looks like a <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, I think that's the um. Nothing behind the waterfall. Disappointing. <laughs> and I think this is where the treasure map was leading me. Oh, come on. Yep. It's definitely... The map. I, well, is it? Yeah, it is. But it made it seem like it was right here. And I don't see anything. <laughs> Maybe it's above? Kinda doubtful. Nope. Hmm. Ah oh well, I can always come back. Oh, hey! A giant! Totally not fucking with you. The one thing I liked about the giants in the, um... single-player game is that, well, they had mammoths. Which was cool. And then sometimes you can get really close and, like, rob, rob them and stuff, but they didn't really get pissed off unless you started fucking with their mammoths. <laughs> which I respect that. It's like, stay away from my elephant. 
Okay. And this is a good place to stop. <laughs>